dati isang exotic na activity lang ang ginagawa sa mga bars, malaki na ngayon ang pinagbago ng pole dancing na kinukonsidera na na bilang isang sport. Sa katunayan, ilang kababayan nating ang nag-champion kamakailan sa isang international pole dancing event. Kasama natin ngayong gabi si Rika Inko, isa sa nag-champion sa Singapore Pole Challenge 2016, at si Gia Gapay, ang co-owner ng Beast House Dance Studio. So girls, magandang gabi and uh, I'm very, alam mo nung nalaman ko itong topic na to, I'm very excited to discuss about this. And of course, to educate the people, what pole dancing really is. So, Rika, um, ano bang benefits ng pole dancing? Um, you know, it's a um, it's a total body workout. Okay. Kasi um sa pole dance kasi we um focus on flexibility, yes. we improving strength, mm -hmm. uh, conditioning, yes. even cardio. So mm -hmm. lahat talaga. So magandang um, ang benefit niya sa, sa sa body because yun nga, na work out lahat. So kumbaga pangkalahat ang buong yes. katawan. Yes. So mm -hmm. gia naman um syempre naging tabu itong uh, pole dancing. We go yes. way back in the 1920s mm -hmm. talagang medyo frowned upon ito. No? Mm -hmm. Pero siyempre ngayon, um, nagiging sport siya. Ito nga, international yes, yes. competition. So, tell us, how has it evolved through the years muna dito sa Philippines? Um, dito kasi sa Philippines, kasi nga before, parang yun nga, yung katulad ng sabi mo, may tabu nga about yes. sa pole dancing. Pero kasi ngayon, through the years, nag-evolve siya, nagiging sport siya, mm -hmm. more on fitness mm -hmm. you know, and art mm -hmm. siya. So, yun, hindi lang siya yung tabu na iniisip ng mga tao. Yun nga, so syempre, di ba nga dati yung iniisip natin, pero ngayon, para po sa mga tao nanonood sa kanilang mga tahanan, mm -hmm. ito ay isang pangkalahatang sport. So, um, let's just get basic, Rika. No? So, there are some types of poles, tama na pag-usapan natin kanina, mm -hmm. there is the standard, the and there is static, mm -hmm. and, and there the is spinning. the spinning. Mm -hmm. So, tell us, ano ba yung kinaibahan nitong dalawang tao? Oh. So, basically, when you say static pole, um, ano lang siya, hindi siya nagmumove. Yun lang siya. And then yung the spinning, the one yung talagang um, Medyo may pwede kang mag-turn. Yes. Yes. So the difference lang, yun nga, static, um, in terms of sa difficulty ng tricks, same mm -hmm. lang din naman, kasi sa spinning, you have to control your spin. Yeah. Just like parang sa figure skating, parang pag nagsispin ka, merong, merong, kang, merong technique kung paano pabibilisin yung spin ng pole, kung paano pababagalin. Mm -hmm. So isa rin yun sa mga inaaral. Mm -hmm. And then sa static pole, yun din, same difficulty pagdating mm -hmm. sa tricks, because ano, marami rin like drops, mm -hmm. Mga ganun. So, so Gia, para naman sa isang, kwari ako beginner, magtututo ako ng pole dancing, malaki ba yung kinabahan ng static sa spinning? Like, mag-iiba ba yung training ko? So, yes. how, how do you do that? Actually, may separate class kami for spinning. So, mm -hmm. kasi pag beginner ka, so more on static muna, mm -hmm. ganun, yung mga basic line, basic, mm -hmm. yun muna. Tapos, yung mga basic tricks muna. Mm -hmm. Tapos, yung spinning, pag depende rin yun sa student or sa teacher pag nakita niya na, na kaya na okay. yun pwede na mag spinning kasi so iba yun eh momentum yes, yes. yes. iba yes. yun so pag advanced. spinning medyo more advanced so yes. so re-recommend mo muna sa mga beginners itong static so pag yes. medyo nag nakaga nakagamay na ng konti medyo yes. mag-advance siya, siya. Okay. and mix like like you said pala yeah. a pole dance is not only for women so yes may ah, men's ah, pole <laughs> yes meron ng men's pole so actually marami nang marami nang nag nagpo-pole ng mga men okay. so it, it's mm. open for everyone well, kids din meron Yes. Meron, meron, din. Din. meron na rin mga kids na nagtatry. Mostly yung mga kids na nag-gymnastics. Yeah. So, okay. yan. Kasi so, more on the flexible yun yung side. Core, eh. yes. Yes. Oo. Okay, so Rika, I'll ask you lang. No? Siyempre, balikan natin yung naging uh, tagumpay mo mm -hmm. sa Singapore, itong pole dancing competition. So, what was it like? Siyempre, mm -hmm. competing with other nations, iba't, iba't ibang um, competitors sa ibang bansa. Mm -hmm. So, how is that feeling na manalo? Sobrang, well, first kasi sobrang nakakanervyos. Okay. Iba eh. Iba, iba, yung, iba na yung feeling ng magkukumpit ka. At the same time, you're competing for your country. Yes. Kasi ano eh, um, um, it's like, dala-dala mo yung pangalan nga ng Pilipinas Tama. and then you're competing with mm -hmm. delegates na sobrang gagaling. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of tricks, in terms of lahat magaling eh. Mm -hmm. So, you really have to and you know, bigay mo yung best mo mm -hmm. and again um yun nga ang mga Pilipino siguro ang isang naging edge namin is ang mga Pilipino kapag nagpe-perform talagang may puso mm -hmm. totoo yun totoo yun now, now um kasama nga ni Rika itong sa si Jamaica Hornacion at Christel De Catalina mm -hmm. na nalo sa professional doubles yes. uh -huh. so gia naman so there are different types of categories in uh, international mm -hmm. competitions can you name that yung different categories. So, merong amateur, okay. merong semi-pro, and okay. professional divisions. 
So, ano yung pinag... So, amateur and semi-pro, medyo magkalapit mm-hmm. yun eh. Pero ano yung difference ng amateur and semi-pro? Usually, kasi pag amateur, may mga... Kunwari, sa ibang competitions, may mga certain tricks lang na pinapagawa. Okay. So, kunwari, um, pagka sa amateur, yung mga handspring, ganyan, mm-hmm. wala pang ganun. Okay. So, sa semi-pro naman, yun yung medyo gitna na ng... Pa-advance ang pa-advance. Pa-advance sa, yes, sa professional level. Meron so, bang nagagawa yung semi-pro athlete ng mga pro tricks? Yes. yes. Pwede yes. rin. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pero during the competition, pwede ba nilang gawin yung pro tricks na yun? Pwede. Pwede. Pwede rin. Pwede. Magiging advantage nila yun. Isa rin basihan okay. yes. sa pagkakategorize ng competition is like, okay. amateurs are for first time na magkocompete. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So, first semi-pro, time. let's say, kapag mm-hmm. nakapag-compete ka na before, internationally, hindi ka na pwedeng bumalik sa amateur. At least once. Yes. At least once. So, that's the time na magsisemi-pro ka na. Okay. And then for professionals, minsan, ang, ang, ang pagkat, uh, pagkategorize nila is, pag professional, kapag nanalo ka na, ng any award from any international competition. Okay, okay. So, ganun so, yung pag-angat. Pag mag-pro ka na, kailangan ba maka at least isang semi-pro event ka lang? O medyo kailangan ng... Hindi naman. Hindi, um, hindi naman. Minsan may mga nag ko-compete na diretso sa professional okay. because they're teaching already. May ganun din kasi. Yes, may ganun. May ganun classification. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, okay. So, Gia, so since you are the co-owner of Peace House Dance Studio, yes. so tatanungin kita on the business side. So, how is pole dancing in the Philippines? Kamusta na ba yung activity nito? Um, yung market, malaki ba? So, Actually, yung market namin, lumalaki siya. Okay. <laughs> yung ang dami ng ang daming interested na mag-try. Yes. Hindi, uh-huh. yun nga, katulad na sabi ni Rika kanina, hindi mm-hmm. lang siya pang babae. Mm-hmm. Meron din kaming men's pool, mm-hmm. meron din kaming for kids. Mm-hmm. Yun, so ang dami talagang interested na mag-try ng pool. So yun. all ages Yes, to. kasi gusto, ages. yun nga, nakita nila as workout nga siya, yun, more on fitness. So, mm-hmm. yan, plus yung um, nakaka-empower kasi Tama, siya pag nagagawa mo yung tricks. Oh, kasi at mm-hmm. first talagang pag pag titingnan mo parang paano ako gagalaw diyan. Yes. 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 Sarang kaya ko ba yan? Oo, Ganyan. pero heart and determination mo. lang. Invite ka na muna para sa sige. Oh, oh. Mamaya usap tayo. <laughs> But new sport for me. Mm-mm. So wait for for champion athletes, athletes at you, like you guys. So Rika, ano yung mga preparations na mm-hmm. ginagawa mo like of course before training, for competitions? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, like for this, uh, for yung last competition, parang okay. we prepared for it for I think mga three months. Mm-hmm. Kanin siya. So mm-hmm. we start off with you know, isip kami ng konsepto, okay. choreography, Easy. and then in terms of preparation, we train. Okay. Sobrang sobrang dalas kung kaya ng every day, because we we focus on strength, yep. core, core, strengthening ng arms, yes. flexibility as All well, around. and yung mm-hmm. pagran ng routine, yes. kasi it's very important. So. Ano so, Gia, how about diet, nutrition? Malaking mm-hmm. bagay din ba ito? Um, actually, oh, <laughs> okay. para yun nga, mas mabubuhat mo yung sarili mo sa pool. So, yep. yun, importante din yung diet. Okay. Mm. Eat healthy. Eat, diba? Yes, okay. eat clean. Okay, so guys, medyo last na natin to, as much as we want to talk about this further. Any upcoming competitions yes. um, in the next months? Please uh, ano, promote natin. Merong um, upcoming competition yes. sa Hong Kong okay. uh, this August. Mm-hmm. So hopefully may, ma- may mga Filipino delegates tayo na makapag-compete there. Okay. And then two of our team members again, yes. sina um, Jamaica, Jamaica and Crystal. And professional Dixon. doubles champs. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. they qualified for Spain yeah. this coming September. So it's okay. a much bigger competition. Yes. So, okay. so Spain. <laughs> okay, so Hong Kong and Spain. Mm-hmm. Hong Kong and Spain, Asia and Europe. Yes, All right. this is actually the first time. For first time. Uh, so, malaking uh, bagay para sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Gia. Thank, Thank you. you, Rika, of course. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.